Apparently, I just can't get enough S19J Pro sound dampening. A couple weeks ago, I had the Cryptology Consulting white box thing. Just a couple days ago, I had the uh, Upstream Data black box thing. Today, I have a kit from a company called Fruits & Associates, which really boils down to a couple of 3D printed shrouds, one that fits on perfectly to one of these little high efficiency, kind of large fans. What we're gonna do is this fan is gonna replace these fans. So we're gonna take these fans off, this thing is fitted to fit perfectly on the side of an S19J Pro. Roots and Associates says that this is gonna ram enough air through there that you don't need the fans and everything should run quieter and cooler, according to them. Let's try it out. Other little accessories. In order to run an S19 without their fans, you need fan spoofers. I am no stranger to the fan spoofer. These are super tiny though. I have another set. Fan spoofing world is coming a long way because that matters. If you've been following me for a bit, you know that I sent off all my machines over to Texas to be remote hosted with Musk Miners, my channel sponsor. Thanks to Musk Miners, they sent me another test unit, S19J Pro, to mess around with and do these little things with. And I'm so sorry, Blake and Chris, but I am going to rip this thing apart and do things to it. First, in order to install the fan spoofers, this camera going, there is one screw here. There's a little, it's a little like button looking thing here. And there's a screw right below that. You wanna hit that screw. And then specifically this one and this one. So those three screws gotta come out. Don't lose them. Then you can just push this button, lift that up, pull it towards you, and off. These fans are connected with these colorful cables. These fans are connected with these colorful cables that go under the bus bars and to the board on top here. In order to get those off, oh, well, that comes off. There's a little tiny zip tie on top you're gonna cut for the hash board cables. And then one more little zip tie for the power that goes to the main board. Very simple. You can just simply pluck these out. Am I getting that over there? I hope I am. That's all four fans. Pull that under the bus bar. If these have been running recently, be careful about the bus bars. They hold a little bit of power for some amount of time that I don't know. So this is your control board. This was where the fans were plugged in. And your little fan spoofers, just plug in those slots instead. These will just tell the miner that it has fans connected and that they're spinning. Importantly, if it overheats, these will still allow it to shut itself off. With the fan spoofers connected, just gotta take the fans themselves off. The side of your S19 where the plugs are is the intake. So it's gonna, air is gonna go this direction. And I'm gonna push air through with this thing. So I want this to be on that same side. Fruits and Associates has supplied me with a bunch of screws. You may be able to tell by how wet my shirt is that it's really hot here in this warehouse. So that's actually going to serve for a great test on whether or not a big quiet fan can move the same amount of air as four super loud little fans. When I say quiet, it's not quiet when it's running full speed by any means, but it's a whole lot quieter. And then obviously with these ducting, that allows us to connect a duct and direct the heat wherever we want it, which right now is away from here. That's one side. also comes with one of these, what do you call this thing? Pipe clamp? Hose clamp? Anybody else feel like we've just moved beyond the flathead screw? Still see a good use for a flathead screw driver to pry things, but that's kind of cool looking. So this thing is variable speed during cooler times. I suppose you could have it set slower so that it's even less loud or uses less energy. Dang it, I put it on the wrong direction. Should be noted, don't know if this camera's picking it up or not, but there is literally an arrow. If you can see the reflection, there's an arrow that says which way this blows that I ignored and that blows. thing there's left to do is to power up this miner and see how it runs. 
may surprise you to learn, but fans are the only source of noise on a Bitcoin miner. You won't hear it turn on, you won't hear it speed up, and I don't have a laptop out here. Let me go get a laptop out here. I can confidently not endorse the Lenovo whatever the hell laptop this is. It's the slowest thing I've ever seen. It has been running now for 14 minutes and temperatures are great. Temperatures in the high 50s, low 60s. That's what the thing on, that's what the thing on full speed. So I'm gonna crank it down and see, cause it'll get a lot quieter at half speed. It doesn't feel to me like enough is happening to blow out enough heat. Just gonna keep an eye on it for a second, see what happens. And we haven't even attached the ducts. The ducts will make it even quieter. I don't have an eight inch duct with me, so I can't do that on that side, but I can put one over there. It's rising up, high 60s. While that heats up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach one of these. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find one of these and where you can buy these things if you want them. We're up to 74 for the outlet temperature now that it's been running at half speed. We'll turn it up to three quarter speed. And we are adding a little bit of resistance to the whole thing with this. You see how much simpler a Phillips screw makes everything? Oh, temperature's in the 80s. We're gonna crank this up. But with this thing, I can now, I can put this heat wherever I want. Just put that heat out the door. This is the fruit and associates final form. I guess you should picture another hose coming out that side intaking air from, I don't know, maybe a filter box or something. I've done plenty of baselines to know that an S19 J Pro runs at about 80 decibels when you're right next to it. It's at about 67. Standing right next to it, this is about 66, 67 decibels. As you step away, we're in the high 50s, 10 feet away from the thing. So it's another case of directly behind a wall. Like if you had this in the garage, if you had this in a, an office by itself, if you had this in some other room, if you can close the door, if you have this in a basement, you're not gonna hear it. Similar to the Crypto Consultants white box thing, this is not a silencer completely, but importantly, if you leave the room and just go one door away, you can't hear it. You can't hear the thing. You can sit in Bill Morrison's super blank office and you don't hear anything. Because this fan is bigger, the loudness that it does have is like just like a more fan-like noise more than like the super high-pitched whine from the S19 J Pro's fan. The last little interesting tidbit about this kit is that it's got some screw holes on the bottoms of these things. So you can actually mount this up to a wall, maybe in the garage, maybe in the basement, whatever. You can mount this up to a wall and have them up and out of the way. I mean, that's pretty great compared to like a rack that fills up an entire room or your mining shed or whatever. You can just have these things along the wall, little hoses just poked out the side, hot air going away. This is a pretty cool little setup and it runs really cool. Although this is really hot to the touch, which is abnormal. My thermal camera's gone. I'm gonna try to find that. Okay, so I've been messing around with different configurations of this thing for about an hour now because when I had it all on with this duct on, I noticed that the top of the machine was getting hot. And I think that's because we're going from an eight inch fan, an eight inch shroud down to a six inch shroud for the ducting. And that's putting, you can even hear how the fan speeds up just when I put this next to it. So that means there's a bunch of extra air resistance, which is, this isn't like a sealed container. So the air is just trying to escape all over the place and it escapes up into the control board. It's fine. It's not so hot that it does anything, does any problems. And with the fan at full speed, it still runs in the low seventies on the hot side, totally fine temperatures. But if you want it to be even quieter, and if you don't want to duct the air out, if you just want to let this heat up whatever room it's in, or maybe if it's in your garage or something, you can run this at 60% speed, still have the temperatures in the low seventies. If you take the, back half off of it, which means this fan will last a lot longer. It's even quieter still. Or second option is you can crank it up and then the temperatures are down, like even the hot side temperatures are down in the 60s, like the mid 60s, which means with this kit, you could overclock in air in the summer. I mean, it's hot. I only have this little tiny dry spot left in my shirt because it's like 90 degrees in my warehouse. I like this one. I'm sold on this one. This company is just selling the kit, just the little shrouds. They don't sell these big fans. You just get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link below for that. And I don't, I have no knowledge of the longevity of this fan. I don't know if this will run for five years like this, or if this is a cheap Chinese thing that's gonna, you know, break in six months. I don't know. With this fan on its highest setting and no shroud on the back, we got temperatures in the 50s and 60s. 
in a 90 degree room. That's that's immersion temperatures. God, I just saw on my phone that Bitcoin's at 19,000. Okay, so you can see that the fan actually runs at a really cool temperature. That's nice to see. Oh, there's a huge separation between where it gets hot and the control board and then the PDU. Ooh, hot magnets. Okay, now I'm gonna attach the ducting and see how much. Okay, and now with the ducting on, obviously the ducting's hot, that makes perfect sense. Um, but more importantly to me, what I'm seeing is that this top case thing is getting hot. I don't think it's dangerously hot and I let it run for like an hour and it didn't shut off or anything. Now, it's never good to run your miner with your everything exposed, because if you touch those bus bars, you're in for a shock. Uh, but this might be the best thing for the miner. This might be the best way to have the miner run, because the heat can escape out the top, which it's doing, as you can see how hot it is in there. And the heat will escape out this tube. So you can control most of the heat to go where, away, to go out of the room, to go wherever you want. But you can have the machine run its coolest. This thing's pretty cool. I think I am gonna leave this hooked up just with no ducting and no top. With this configuration here, I can have this fan running at half speed and have temperatures at what my normal S19 runs in this same room. I like that a lot. That's the Fruits & Associates Fan Shroud Kit. Link in the description. It's a lot quieter than running it bare. Oh, I have one of those kilowatt meters somewhere. I'm gonna see if I can find that. Okay, why is that so much darker? Oh, I don't have those lights on. I'm fast forwarding like two hours into the future. I've tried every single configuration of everything that I can. And basically what I've come up with, I lost my phone. What I've come up with is seven glowing dots on this thing, which is running at 60 watts. So this fan is running at 60 watts. These four fans are not on at all. I went and tested the electricity and the machine is now pulling 14 and a half amps, but the warehouse power is only 202 volts because it's supposed to be 208 and I don't know, I'm too far away from the main thing, whatever. This is running at slightly under 3000 watts. So it's actually running slightly more efficiently than just stock with this fan. So this big fan runs both quieter and with a little bit of le less electricity, not enough less to make any difference at all, like as far as paying for electricity. The quiet thing is important and the fact that you can crank it up and run this thing like cold if you want to. But at this setting, so I think it's the fan's 70% setting matches the temperature settings of my S19 that just runs stock. It's able to do that at just over 60 decibels, which according to my phone is a quiet street. And like I said before, if you take a couple steps away, it's in the 50s, which is just nothing. Like, I don't know, it's just a murmur. This thing sitting, especially in a room that's not in the room that you're in, or even just on the other side of the room that you're in if it's big, like this warehouse, this is an awesome solution. And the fact that you can duct it and choose where you want the hot air to go, that makes it really versatile too. You may not want to run it with the top off, but you know, I'm a little crazy. If you want to see the other things that I ran for noise, uh, you can check out this video here or this video here. They are the upstream data black box and the cryptology consulting white box as it were, uh, made videos about both of those. And then immersion stuff you can just find on my playlists or whatever. I have to add some extra nonsense, otherwise those boxes will have appeared too soon and it won't make any sense because I can only do that like 20 seconds from the end of a video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to go full time. It would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? How fun would that be? Just do this all the time? Okay, that's gotta be enough. Goodbye.